Welcome, uh, this is Precision Weighing Balances video on the I-2600 digital scale. This scale offers 2600 grams weighing capacity and increments in a tenth of a gram readability. The scale is classified as a portable top loader, might be used in a science classroom. Um, the scale offers again 2600 grams by a tenth of a gram. And we're just going to go through some of the features that the scale has to offer. Um, the first thing, we've powered up the scale and it is running off of batteries. Uh, the scale does come standard with the AC adapter. So the AC adapter is not an optional accessory. Some manufacturers don't include the adapter. My way does include it on the i2600. So you have the ability to run off an AC adapter or battery power. Um, the scale offers, again, 2,600 gram weighing capacity. So if we were to put on some weights, this scale is right on the money, right out of the box. A lot of times we would recommend that you calibrate the scale. Um, and again, I put too much capacity, so you'll see E overload. So we're up to 2,500 grams. So the scale is right on the money, right out of the box. But I'd still like to go out of, I'd still like to go over the calibration because we highly recommend that you always calibrate the scale. Calibration masses are an optional accessory, and uh, again, we highly recommend you purchase them. So let's just go through the cal. So the first thing you want to do is you want to power off your scale, and you would hold down the zero key, and while holding the zero key down, you want to press the on key and then you'd release. And so the scale goes to all eights for a minute and then it shows a random number. So this random number is a number that uh, the A to D converter is reading off the load cell. And so you want to wait until it's stable and you can see it's on this particular scale it's 40,454, 55, 56, 57, but uh, it's pretty stable. I mean that last decimal place is going to move around no matter what. And so now you want to store that. So to store the value, we're going to press the units key. And when you press it, you're going to see 00, zero save, and then it's going to show you the cal weight needed. So when you see 00, zero save, it's storing the zero reference voltage off that load cell when no, lo when no load is applied to the scale. So now I have a 2,000 gram weight. You have to have 2,000 grams to calibrate it. You want to put it on the center of the platform and you will see the scale now after you've placed that on there. You just want to wait a minute and then we're going to press the unit key one more time and we'll see again. Zero, zero, save. So it stores that value. And now this value is the value that the A to D converter your digital electronics is seeing off the load cell. So it's now stored that value into complete calibration. All we need to do now is take the calibration weight off, turn the scale off, power the scale back up, and now the scale will go through the countdown mode. It's testing all the electronics and then it goes to zero, zero. And then we can put our 2000 gram weight right on the scale And this scale, it reads plus or minus a tenth of a gram. And we can probably, we, there it goes. I just zero the scale out. Put the weight on. Give it a minute. Okay. Now another feature you can see on this scale, we have a fill guide on the left hand side, it gives you an idea how much weighing capacity you've actually used. So as you increase, this weigh guide shows you what you have left. That's a real nice little feature, um, a lot of scales in this pricing category do not have that. Some of the other functions that the scale offers, you have the ability to do parts counting mode, it has a tear key so if we were to put a weight on we could tear it out we could put on another weight and we could zero that out you can do this until 
the full capacity, which is 2,000 grams. So we can, you can do multiple tears. So they just throw weights on. Just keep on zeroing out. And you'll notice again that that weigh guide gives you an idea of how much capacity we've actually used so that we don't overload the scale. And as we keep on putting more weights on, you can see this weigh guide going up and up. So that's the zero function, or the tear, well really the tear function. So you can do multiple tears on this scale to the full capacity. Um, the scale also offers a stainless steel removable platform for easy cleaning. So that's a nice little feature in the laboratory to clean up your scale after doing your preparation of whatever solution. If you ever have a spill, it's easy to clean. Uh, other features on this scale, on the bottom of the scale, we have four adjustable feet. So you can level the scale. And here is the battery compartment. Right now we're running the scale off of, you need sits. Uh, these are the uh, AA batteries. So that's a nice feature that you can run this scale both battery powered or AC adapter. Um, on the rear of the scale, there's a sprint bubble for easy leveling. And on the very back of the scale, um, hopefully you can see this, this is where the AC adapter plugs in. So the AC adapter simply plugs right into the rear of the scale if you want to run it off an AC adapter. So that's the basic features of the MyWay. This is the MyWay i2600. It's a nice basic scale, extremely affordable, especially for uh, the schools, the educational market. It does have also, let's see, parks counting mode. If one wanted to go use the parks counting mode, you have that feature. Um, simple, basic, affordable. That would be the best way to describe MyWay. This is the MyWay i2600. Again, it's available at our website, balances.com or scaleman.com. We are Precision Way and Balances. We're an authorized MyWay dealer. We've been selling the MyWay line since MyWay first started this brand at least 10 years ago. Visit our website, www.balances.com. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.